We are getting word now that Iran's Revolutionary Guard has stepped up military readiness over fears of an attack by the West. The move coming after the Iranian capture of a U.S. drone and reports in recent weeks about mysterious explosions at nuclear sites and the assassination of a scientist. Some news outlets overseas also reporting now that nervous foreigners are now leaving the country and Iranian residents are expressing concerns over what will happen next. Jennifer Griffin is live at the Pentagon. Jennifer? Hi, Megan. Well, it certainly looks like the covert war against Iran has already begun and may have begun a year ago. Multiple U.S. officials confirmed that the drone being shown on Iranian television, the Sentinel, uh, that it was the one that was lost last week. It was on a spying mission over Iran, a secret spying mission that has been flown over Iran out of a western base in Afghanistan for several years now. Evidence of the covert war began appearing a little over a year ago. Take, for instance, the cyber attack on Natanz, June 2010, 1,000 centrifuges destroyed by the Stuxnet worm, a dozen mysterious explosions at the homes of Iran's nuclear scientists. The head of Iran's atomic energy organization is wounded by a car bomb in November 2010, an explosion at a secret missile base November 12, 2011, the head of a long-range missile program killed in that attack. Then there was the blast two weeks later at a uranium enrichment plant at Isfahan. That was on November 30th, 2011. The explosion on November 12th not only killed the head of Iran's missile program, missiles that could strike Israel, but also killed 17 other members of Iran's Revolutionary Guard Corps. This occurred at a top secret guard base near the capital, Tehran. But the Stuxnet worm was, which is largely believed to have been a joint effort, a joint cyber attack by Israel and the United States, was the first clue that the covert war had been launched. U.S. officials tell Fox that a meeting took place at CENTCOM in mid-November to hone military plans in the event that this covert war requires overt action. Megan? Jennifer Griffin, thank you.